Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today we'll be dealing with Talent Tech or Allen's Talent Encouragement Exam. So today we'll be looking at some questions from sample papers of grade 7 on various subjects. So let's begin, shall we? First question from physics. In 10 minutes a car with speed of 60 km hour race to minus 1 travels a distance of 1 6 km 2 600 km 3 10 km and 4 7 km so for this question uh, so let's understand the question uh now 60 km hour race to minus 1 this means that 60 km per hour it's another way of saying kilometer per hour kilometer hour is to minus 1 so that is the speed of the car and uh, we have to find the distance of the car if it travels in 10 minutes at a uniform speed so uh you have to find distance let's name uh the distance as x so to convert 60 km per hour into 10 minutes like uh, this like write 60 km per 1 hour is equal to x by 10 minutes now 1 hour 1 hour is equal uh it is equal to 60 minutes So if we are to convert from 60 minutes to 10 minutes we have to divide by 6 uh to get 10 minutes so to make uh, both of the fractions equal we have to also divide the numerator by 6 so 60 divided by 6 would get x so 60 divided by 6 is equal to 10 10 km because it's 60 km so uh x the distance traveled by a car with speed of 60 km per hour in 10 minutes is 10 km so option 3 10 km is the right answer for this question next question asked in chemistry read the given statements a evaporation of water is a reversible change b burning of wood is an irreversible change C. Rusting of iron is a reversible change. D. Bursting of cracker is a fast change. E. Formation of petrol is a slow change. F. Baking a dough into bread is a reversible change. Which of the above statements are true? And the options are given over here. So, first let's look at the statements. Statement A says evaporation of water is a reversible change now evaporation of water uh is changing from liquid to gas evaporation means uh the process which changes uh, water from liquid to gas now if it if it is a reversible change then there must be a process uh from gas to liquid it is there So gas to liquid is condensation. So it is reversible. It so it is a reversible change. So option uh, I mean statement A is true. Now let's look at statement B. Statement B says burning of wood is an irreversible change. Now burning of wood uh produces ash. Now ash cannot be converted back into wood so uh it its chemical composition has been changed uh, it cannot be converted so ash so this would be an irreversible change and uh, the statement does say burning of wood is an irreversible change so this statement is true let's look at statement C statement C says rusting of iron is a reversible change now rusting of iron is corrosion now corrosion means destruction of metals 
now if metal is destructed it cannot be brought back uh, t uh, to the same fresh metal so it is an irreversible change while the statement C says it is a reversible change so this statement would be false now statement D statement D says bursting of cracker is a fast change now bursting of cracker happens in seconds or minutes so it does happen fast it doesn't uh, take it's not a uh, change that takes for years so bursting of cracker is a fast change so this statement is true statement E says formation of petrol is a slow change now formation of petrol uh, this event the formation of petrol takes uh, many years it takes many years to form petrol so it is a slow change so statement E is also a true statement now statement F says baking of dough into bread is a reversible change now if we bake dough into bread the yeast can uh, does a chemical change so and now chemical changes are irreversible so uh, baking of dough into bread would be an irreversible change while the statement says baking of dough into bread is a reversible change which is false now we have the options now the statements which are true are a b d and e and the option which says a b d and e uh, the statements are correct is option two so option two a a b d e is the correct answer for this question next question asked in biology submerged hydrophytes exchange gases through one lenticels two stomata three general body surface by diffusion and four chloroplasts so submerged hydrophytes are true water plants they are uh, totally inside the water so that is the definition of a submerged hydrophyte so let's look at the options option one says lenticels now lenticels are pores in the stem through which land plants respire so this uh, lenticels are present in land plants to for respiration but it is not present in water plants uh, it it cannot take uh, it uh, this takes air oxygen directly from the air so option one is incorrect option two says stomata now stomata is uh, pores in the leaves through which they take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen now this happens directly from the air it takes uh, CO2, CO2 directly from the air uh, and uh, while true uh, submerged hydrophytes cannot take it directly from the air so option 2 is also incorrect option 4 says chloroplasts now chloroplasts is the part of the leaf where photosynthesis takes place now chloroplasts have nothing to do with the exchange of gases so option four is also incorrect option three is the right answer general body surface by diffusion it absorbs 
the air uh, it converts the uh, it takes in the air from the surrounding water so option 3 general body surface by diffusion is the correct answer for this question next question the following pictograph shows the number of mangoes purchased for a home during the first four months of an year read the table and answer the question given below so the question is find the number of mangoes purchased purchased for a home during january to march is option 1 60 option 2 25 option 3 30 and option 4 80 so the question asks us to uh, number of uh, ask, say the number of mangoes purchased from january to march so this is the first three months january to march and uh, the number of pictures in the pictograph mango pictures from january and march totally is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so there are 12 pictures but that is not the number of mangoes uh, the key is given that one picture of a mango is equal to five mangoes so from january to march it will be 12 into 5 mangoes now 12 into 5 is 60 so the home purchased 60 mangoes from january to march so that's why option 1 60 is the right answer for this question last question b which is asked in iq b is the southwest of a c is to the east of b and southeast of a and d is to the north of c in line with b and a in which direction of a is d located option one northeast sorry option one north option two east option three southeast and option four northeast so let's draw a diagram up uh, statement one says b is the southwest of a so first let's draw the directions north south west east northeast northwest southwest and southeast now b is to the southwest of a so if this is this is point a now southwest is this direction so b would be right there to the southwest of a and the next statement says c is to the east of b and southeast of a so uh it will be the east that is right of b but it can't be over here because it said that it's the southeast of a so we should uh, just extend a little bit so c would be right there and it is to the southeast of a that is the southeast direction right there now uh the next statement says d is to the north of c in line with b and a so let's draw a line from c and a line from b and a in line with b and a so right there where they intersect this is where d is located it's in line with b and a and it's also to the north of c now the question asks us in which direction of a is d located now in re respect to a where is d located so if a is in the center d would be right there to the top top right now the uh, direction to the top right is northeast so option for northeast is the right answer for this question that's all folks we hope you found it interesting for more useful educational videos please subscribe to our channel brain blitz audios until the next episode 
Take care. Stay safe. Tata for now.